Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Rank Library. We hope you find it enlightening. The Rank Library was Leopold von Rank's collection of over 21,000 items. It was purchased by the Syracuse University Library on April 22, 1887, which outbid the Prussian government. The purchase dramatically increased the size of Syracuse University Library, making it the third largest library in New York State. The collection was described as the finest collection of primary source materials ever assembled by one man for the study of Western history. Let's zoom in on Leopold von Rank and understand its implications. Leopold von Rank 21 December 1795 23 May 1886 was a German historian and the founder of modern source-based history. According to Caroline Hofel, Rank was probably the most important historian to shape historical profession as it emerged in Europe and the United States in the late 19th century. He was able to implement the seminar teaching method in his classroom and focused on archival research and analysis of historical documents. Building on the methods of the Gittingen School of History, Rank set the standards for much of later historical writing. Turning our focus to Syracuse University Library, let's explore its key elements. Syracuse University had few books when classes began in 1871, and the library's collection was held in temporary housing. By 1875, the library still held only 2,300 items. Until 1888, the library would spend an average of $26 a year on purchasing items, and largely grew only due to donations. Get ready for an exciting part as we dive into collection. The collection consists of around 17,000 books, 4,000 pamphlets and 430 manuscripts. In 1984, it was valued at around $3 million equivalent to million in IXP. It includes a first edition of Martin Luther's Table Talk, the Libelus of Talsforus of Cosenza, a first edition copy of the Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin in French, Institutes of the Christian Religion, several volumes of Mercurius Galla Belgicus, a pamphlet written by Thomas Munzer, Ludovico Antonio Moratori's, Giovanni Domenico Manzi's Sacrorum Concilium, the Corpus Inscription and Latinum, and extensive personal memoirs of rank. The collection has a large number of Venetian documents. Upon its purchase by Syracuse in 1887, the New York Times described the collection as probably the rarest historical one ever owned by anyone in the world. In this section, we'll be peeling back the layers of history to reveal its true essence. In 1875, a wealthy cleric, John Morrison Reed, was convinced by Syracuse University librarian Charles W. Bennett of the necessity to purchase more books for the library. Reed soon donated $5,000 towards the purchase of additional books by the library. While on a trip to Europe, Bennett learned that the Rank Library would soon become available for purchase. He soon communicated his desire to Reed that the library purchase the collection when it was put up for sale. At least six university libraries, including Cornell, Harvard and Yale also considered purchasing the collection. When Rank died in 1886, it was largely expected that the Prussian government would purchase the collection. Upon the purchase of the collection, the Chicago Tribune wrote, In an effort to secure the collection for Syracuse, Bennett contacted the oldest son of Rank, Otto von Rank. He gave Bennett first refusal if the Prussian government turned the library down. Leopold von Rank's family requested that the collection was to remain in one place and they receive a fair price for it. In summer 1886, Bennett travelled to Germany to negotiate the purchase. After months of negotiating with the Prussians, who made unsatisfactory offers and proposed dividing the collection, in March 1887, Bennett informed the family that Syracuse University would respect their wishes if they made a decision within the next two weeks. The collection was successfully purchased for around $20,000, donated by Reed, and shipped in 83 crates weighing 19 tons. 
It arrived in March 1888, and construction began on a building to house the collection the following year. Work soon began to slow down as funding for the university as a whole slowly declined. Cataloging efforts were slow and inconsistent. In 1895, with the introduction of Dewey Decimal Classification, cataloging restarted. In 1937, the director of the library considered the collection chiefly sentimental. Either as, the collection was housed at the top of the Syracuse University Carnegie Library and was poorly maintained and catalogued. In the as, Professor James Powell began efforts to better maintain the collection. In 1977, the National Endowment for the Humanities granted the library $50,000 and matched an additional $50,000 raised from private sources for restoration of the collection. More than 100 volumes of the Monument to Germany Historica were donated by the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft. The library soon began working on restoration, cataloging of the main collection and cataloging of the original manuscripts. Edward Muir was hired to catalogue the manuscripts. In 1983, the complete manuscript catalogue was published, and by 1984 the collection had been 80% catalogued. Remember to follow me on social media for behind-the-scenes content and updates.